A bill in the U.S. Congress could reduce federal school funding. We now go to our Marcus Clem, who explains how it may affect schools across the country. The rural Northwest Missouri School District, Worth County R3, is like many in the region in that it relies significantly on federal Title I funding in order to help pay for its services. So imagine what an 80% cut to those federal dollars could entail. That's a big deal. So it's it's tough to it's tough to see what it's gonna what would happen if they were to cut the federal funding as far as the title programs, but it would definitely make an impact. Each year, Worth County R3 gets about $80,000. That pays outright for three teachers. Every student in the district can benefit because they all go to school at one campus, and more than 40% of those enrolled get free or reduced lunch based on family income. Loss of that money wouldn't necessarily force layoffs, but it would be a challenge. The title funding has been pretty consistent over the past, you know, so we've used it to fund supplemental education, and that would be that would be a hurt if it fell. It's not clear yet what the proposed cut to Title I might produce in final legislation. It was brought up in a committee on Friday. The Alabama congressman who chairs the panel says the cut would indeed hurt rural districts, but federal spending must be reduced, he said. We cannot continue to make our constituents pay for our reckless D.C. Beltway spending. At some point, we must stop out-of-control spending, the spree that we've seen and that we have experienced in this nation. St. Joseph has nine schools that benefit from Title I funding. More on that will be found online at newspressnow.com. Reporting from the campus of Worth County Schools here in rural Northwest Missouri, Marcus Clem for News Press Now.